Oh, we're on camera. Hey there. Hey. Hi, my name is Brandon. Homemade waffles. I'm joined by the one Phil. Dog. Yes. Let's do it. And on the other side, we got the Crimson Blur. Mac D. Let's do Mac it. Diesel. And we have people. We have Armada versus PPU. And we have people that are knowledgeable about this matchup in particular. We have the perfect commentators. Yes. The Mark Main and the Peter Main. Main. So, yes. guys, break it down for us coming forward. Yes. So this matchup is really interesting, especially how Armada and Pew Pew play it. Uh, I believe uh, you had just been warming up Kevin Pew Pew for this match I was, I was right before good. this. That's good. And now as a fellow Peach Main, is that okay? Of course. <laughs> as, a, as a fellow California player, oh, isn't that okay? Oh, wait, I throw that in my face. Let's go. Like let's go. You let's go. You're, de you're definitely Prince of Booing Armada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Prince well, of yeah. You're definitely hitting well, with the Prince, Prince of Booing. Prince of Boo. Let's go, Prince of Boo. Armada Prince also plays Fox. So. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And I would warm up, but I warm up. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I wonder who's he going to use. I heard so Peach who, back. Uh, how do you. So, so go earlier, um, I think we were in the, on the shuttle. Uh, Armada said he thought that. Marth was worse than Sheik if they knew what they were doing for Peach. Like uh, a harder matchup? Yeah. Yes. I think that that, that, I that should be true. I know Armada's really confident against Sheik as it is. Yeah. Um, and he's only really – he's been threatened by Marth more than Sheik's if you look at his history. Yeah. He's never been threatened by Sheik's. Yeah. And you look at how PPMD has battled him in the past. Yeah, it yeah. Makes it really difficult for him. Yeah. Makes it tough. Um, the main thing for Marth this matchup is, of course, down tilt. Uh, down tilt's like a, a big tool in all of his matchups, but uh, she, uh, Peach especially can't really contest it much. Uh, she can't go over it with an arrow like you see with like Fox, uh, Fox <laughs> right? Um, so she kind of has to just take it, and the best she can do is use turn ups and then dash attack to earn her space. Yeah. Uh, back air is particularly good because if she protects things like a dash forward grab or yeah. a down tilt, mm -hmm. that can actually go over it, but only if she straight predicts it. All right. Man, this is uh, I think this set's gonna <laughs> take a while. Take a while. I, I think that's the matchup. I don't even think these players, they, these no, players no, no. are pretty thorough as far as their styles. It's just, it's a long, it's a processing matchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you see in that corner, that's what Kevin likes to do when he gets turned up by the edge. He hits it uh with a double jump forward air from the edge, and then he uh battles after uh, out, out from the corner. Against yeah. me, he was getting in and uh, getting me with a dash attack before I could throw the right. Turn exactly, up. he does that. So I definitely was like, oh, time to shield this or something. Yeah, so. no, th that works. So it was actually really interesting because I'd never seen another Marth do that. So yeah. it's just interesting tactics that you see just as the a lot of nair right. Oh, a lot of nair right now. Yeah, I think uh, people is trying to catch uh, Armada in the float. But Armada's definitely doing a good job jumping over it. What do you normally do, McCann, as far as a way to counter like the Nair that like so won't just pierce through everything? Uh, I mean you can dash attack under it, you kinda just run around it. So it has got because of its double hitbox and kind of the awkward angle it goes at, if yeah. you can't get under it with dash attack, you really can't handle it. You just have to either punish after. Oh man. Yeah, so this uh, matchup sounds like it's barely bad. living oh, there. Ah, nice, uh, nice. see what I would have liked to see him do is actually jump straight up with his double jump and then avoid the turn up and then up the sweet spot. Okay. I think he could have made that back. It's hard because you never really know which exact spot Peach is going to throw the turn up exactly. at. Exactly. You kind of have to guess, and if Peach delays it just enough, like after you after you committed to whatever option you did, it's just. It's oh, gotta be patient here. This is usually where Armada oh, builds wow. his lead. I believe that was a shield stab. Yes. Um, th like Armada, when he is living at higher percentages against a Marth, this is how he yeah. extends and lives. You know, lives forever. And that down to you just so about. so blur. How would I, if I were a Marth main and I had a Peach at this point? Also, this goes to you, McKay. How? Ooh. I guess that I answer. I was about to answer my question, but how would I kill Peach? I, I think you gotta go for a forward air at 170. Like that's straight up, oh, wow. or like over up there. That's, that's a fair option. I honestly think uh, no early percent tippers. You you can get those, but you shouldn't be looking for those. If right. if you happen if to find a spike, you happen to find a tipper, you happen to find you an uptail. If they're there, you, you don't take force it. it. Force you it. definitely don't force it. But okay. Because a lot of what happens when Peach is trying to recover, um, I've noticed people you just playing him. He wasn't the best at keeping me off stage on like Mewtwo King or PP or even some of the other Mars I played. Um, what you can do is you just keep swatting at Peach, and yeah. if she's off the stage, you keep swatting her. You know, so your edge guard takes 20 seconds. But if right. you don't get hit, no big deal. It doesn't matter. I think right. PPD is really big on that. Just to keep hitting him away. He yeah. does not force the kill. And honestly, all. it's very depressing for the Peach player yeah. <laughs> because she's yeah. like she's been playing for like two minutes and only been getting hit. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's true. you spend your two minutes recovering. It's just like I hate this. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> What and, and it feels great for the Marth, actually. Wow. If, if you can, uh, he tried to do the same thing, but somehow keeps getting hit on, on the back end. Yeah. Um, oh. If you, if you mo as the Marth player, you morph your thinking of, uh, of, instead of thinking how frustrating it is that she's living that long, think, think about, about how awesome it is that she never 
touch you. Yeah. And after that, you, you've been hitting her like 50 times. Yeah. I you know? Cause, and it just gets annoying. Like, you're trying to get back to the stage no matter what you try. You're always getting swatted off. And it's just like, man, I just want to touch the ground. Right. Get nice. my float back. I want to play this game. This is good. Armada's just getting mild. He's not really putting himself in a position to really even hit hit. I know Armada's a big fan of those. You see him back airing a lot. He, I remember after uh, like nice. last year's MLG, he's like, back air is the solution to Marth. Okay. <laughs> what he likes to do is he does one turn up throw, and then he does a float back air uh, to beat pretty much every approach, like this. Oh. Really good, too, is I feel like Armada's had control of the stage pretty much the entire time. Yeah, yeah. So I wish, uh, what helps with this matchup is that uh, if you can hack stash, do that reverse uh, ledge dash, um, it helps a lot against Peach because she does one throw, you do one of those uh, refreshes, and then you go on. Okay, okay, uh, okay. And, and it earns you back your position. I think what's hurting too is that, that when Armada throws like one turn up, Kevin completely retreats and he gives yeah. away all his stage control. Well, it's hard not to. I mean, yeah. turn up, that's what Turnip does. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's good. I feel like... Uh, Unless you catch him, I mean... You can uh, shield and wave dash down. That's what Azusa told me to do. Sounds awesome. I was going to say, yeah, it seems like PPU only has, like, one or two strategies to deal with turnips when there's, like, six or seven different things you can do. He hasn't oh, caught yeah. a single one. And, yeah, like, I mean, catching them is kind of, I think a lot of them are situational. Obviously, what he's probably done is pick the one or two most optimal, quote-unquote. Yeah, That's going to yeah. work overall. I like that you said, quote-unquote. That's important. But it's like, <laughs> you know, what's what's the best option is always going to change. Yeah. And if you keep doing the same one or two things. It's predictable. Like, you're getting predictable. And so even if it's the most optimal, like, if it's predictable, yeah. it's really good. <sighs> That's so frustrating. You're dashing, you're dashing, and then you just downside. <laughs> he, <laughs> he get hit. Right. Those turnips, he like forward airs them and he just kind of jumps into them. Like he's scared to run all the way to Armada. Yeah, I think he's giving him a little too much space. Yeah. So, oh. see, once again, just getting da uh, down smash on his approach. He's got to be a little bit trickier. I think he's not like uh, yeah. cutting up his dash yeah, a little bit more. He changed it. I the think pace of his aerials, too. He's just throwing out Nair too much. Yeah, I, I, there's not enough mix ups. Catching right up. Now. Like, <sighs> he just rolls into it. But Armada's just locking him down, man. I'm oh, I love this. Yeah. Yeah. That was beautiful. There you go. Throw some forward airs in there. Yeah. Some dash tags too. Even. Man, what a recovery. Can we, someone off. Someone off that recovery. That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And Nomada keeps catching that too. Right when he sees the forward air, he just oh. he move out of it. That's it. So very effective. When it, yeah. When Armada thro throws that kind of turn up, what he tries to do is hit their leg, Ar Ar Mart's leg. Yeah. Because you know how forward air starts on the top of your head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to swat when the peach aims for your leg. Wow. Yeah, good. because because you have to like start it way earlier to, to start arcing down. But when Peach tries to hit towards your head, it's super easy to swat. You yeah. see it, you press forward there, and you and you get the swat. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so we expect. Uh, okay. Yeah, that makes he sense. just likes Stadium. He's yeah, just, he's just a big Stadium fan. Yeah, and I also think it's a great counter pick in this matchup because you're gonna KO Peach earlier, and you have some space to move around. Exactly, and yeah, he, he was really luxury. quick to give the stage up. So yeah. I think having more space. But yeah. if he's gonna, I don't know, if he's trying to give up space, is it really like the stage he wants with the long stage? Yeah, I still don't know. I, don't know. I, I still feel like Yoshi's is still obviously a good stage. Yoshi's is good, FD's good. Um, I don't know. I feel like. So you think he should go to the smaller stage? I think he should. Just the way this matchup works, uh, it's kind of one of those. Peach runs out at, like, she needs stages to run around, mm -hmm. run away, and pull turn ups. ups. And turn ups have been <coughs> destroying him right yeah, now. Exactly. And so yeah. if he forces the stage to be smaller to close in on him, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll help him out, I think, in the long run. I, I also want him to. <laughs> to like call out Armada's pulls a little bit better, right? Like, I hope he doesn't move. See, right there, seeing him move away so adamantly, like when, against Armada, I, I want him to move uh, out of pressure, but like not all the way away. Yeah, right? I think that's, he's just, he's, he's giving up a little too much of the stage. Ooh, that's the first time he's got really got He's got to treat the stage like his baby. Yeah. Because uh, oh. if once Peach gets staged, he can put I don't, I don't blame him for missing that forward smash. I can see why he thought that would be. Yeah. Timing. Most peaches, no, most peaches normally would have gotten hit by that, but I think Armada set himself up to where he knew. It's, kind of, it's hard, man. Don't go down there. Yeah, it, it's one of those things where. Well played. This matchup, at least against Armada, I think is very underdeveloped. Mm -hmm. yeah. The marks get a lot players, better. Yeah. Well, and you see the, the t couple top Mars all do different things, True. so it's kind of hard to know like how is the matchup actually developing and going. Yeah. yeah. Marth Mains do play very, very different. PP's all about his dash dance. Oh, nice. Oh. Mute King's all about his just like, I'm going to smack you a million times with my combos because I just know frame data. <laughs> nice. And I feel like PP is kind of somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Just 
trying to get his own yeah, style. Like, here's what you said. I can't believe he's he just got to swat him away. I can't believe he just got hit by that nair. I wish he uh can't fish for the kill. Just fish for nice. the hit. And right when he sees it, he, he got the turn to be immediately active. Nice. I think that that's, was really good. That, that's a retreating fair but I want to see. I want to see how he's going to handle this because I feel like in most situations, this is, yeah. he, he's not threatening with back air at all. He's um, going to have to look for that up throw kill. So I really like what he did with the last turn pull. I, I hope I see him more of that. Because so he, he, he stayed close enough that the second he, he pulled a turn up, he immediately punished him. Mm -hmm. I really like that yeah. distance. But go, what were we saying? I so when um, uh, Peach pulls out her parasol especially, but and even just on her normal uh, recovery, one, oh my god, he's getting he's destroyed by turn him, dude. Just catch one, just please. Catch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks At like he's so. uh, And oh. of course, and finally, I mean, it's actually surprised he's only gotten one so far. Yeah, yeah. he's pulled a lot of turns. Yeah. yeah. Um, so during during those recovery sequences for Peach, the best thing you can do is uh, full hop back air and then land with the forward air. And worst case scenario, she goes for the edge. And that's not a problem against Peach because her edge options are so bad, especially against Mark. Mm -hmm. right. So you kind of want to force her towards the edge when she's recovering. Um, and I haven't really seen him take up much space uh, for most of the set. Uh, on, on, on a recovering armada. There he gets one grab on the back air. That's good. So I think he's going to have to tweak something up within his movement. It's yeah. actually He's got to do something that he hasn't really yeah, been I agree, yeah, I agree. The if the, even so if hard. that means doing something that almost looks ridiculous towards him, like, I mean, to him, I mean, mm -hmm. he's got to have to try. He's got to do something to really throw armada out. Yeah, it, it seems like the pacing is. Yeah. He's slowly making adjustments, yeah. but he needs to make them a little faster. And I like the full hop forward air, too. Those help. I mean, yeah. that, that thing, there that sword go. is better than... Peach's whole float and forward air. Mm -hmm. there, there you go. go. She has no double it, jump. It's really know. hard, though, because, you know, it's, it's very simple to just say oh, that. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Armada puts you in situations where you desperately throw out moves. Nice match, GI, but Jesus. Wow. Jesus. He's back. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, almost a pivot force match. I thought that was that was right there in front of him. Oh, I love, I, I really like this distance, because he's starting to put himself in a position where he can't just pull turnips. He's starting to play better. Yeah. See, he lets her get the edge. That's fine. That's literally what you want oh, to start. Oh, no. Then that's the one time. You get toe cheese. Yeah, you, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. I've never seen that toe cheese like that before. But you got to give it up yeah, to Armada. He's making it possible for you to really oh, oh, get anything. That was great space. Yeah, I love it. I love the distance. Yeah. All right. Off another grab. Peach might Details. Die. Yeah, see. <sighs> Like, which is Go back stitch here. face. Yeah. Uh -oh. Be careful. Be careful, PPU. He, I don't oh. like oh. this. Oh. Oh. What a roll. But, yeah, now he's, like, camping because he knows he's got to wait for a shield to come back. PPU's moving way better. Oh, there you there. go. I see, like, up now he's not oh, letting him pull no, up throw. No up throw. Well, he could have waited until the transformation and then up throw. Could he have waited As long? the tree went up. I mean, he could have tried to wait that long. Yeah. Should have tried at least. I don't know. I think the transformation was too far away. But, but even then, like, I don't know. It might time out. Yeah, they might. If he, if he waits right here, what the frustrating thing about for Stadium is that he can pull another Stitch face. Armada's yeah, not really trying. True. That forest match hits through, by the way, guys. It hits on that little... Some of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, it depends <laughs> on which one you get. I don't think the frying pan gets too far through that. It probably still does barely, but not... Not as much as you'd like. Right. All right. And... Wow. Okay, nice. well, at 204... So we got that grab percent. Yeah. Ah. You can't learn. Yeah, there, go. there you go. There you go. He gets it, yeah. finally. Okay, so he's got to rack up damage. I'm this, talking going ham. I, honestly, I think the the only way PBU can win is with uh, he needs a spike or he needs yeah. some kind of crazy combo. Uh -oh, right now, gotta read these right now. There you go. Oh, there we go. we go. Yeah, he needs to get some big. big oh, and it keeps going. Let's go, big damage. Oh, Be careful here. nice That's fade fine. for that. I actually think this is beautiful. This is amazing. This stock is. This is so good. Oh, I, I'm no, not gonna I'm lie. Actually, that was a I great. I'm not mad. I'm yeah. not mad at all. He I made it so fast. He, he brought it back. I think the thing that, uh, that it's good is that he's clearly made an adjustment. That's yeah. way he's more. He's moving important. so yeah. much yeah. better. Yeah. That was that was a big stock for him mentally, probably, and just in general to catch him up in the game. Yeah, he was so far oh. behind. Oh, wow. the crouch cancel, but I don't know about a big as the crouch cancel. Ooh. It's very yeah. fortunate Armada did nothing. Here's the hard part. Getting the damage is easy, but the, with Mark, th in this matchup, this is the hard part right here. I mean, at this point, Armada could probably time him out. Yeah, yeah exactly. Not necessarily trying to, but just like. With nah, he can't of. do that. He can't do that. PBU needs to get this kill within the next like 30 seconds, if not quick, probably quicker. Honestly. Probably yeah. within the next yeah. 15. So, it's kind of. Oh, ooh, that was tricky. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. He now might not. He's, def <laughs> he's definitely. Yeah. Oh, he tried oh, that little yeah. trick you talked about. This is, this is I think, I think if I'm PBU, go. I think you're I, right, McCain. If I think for I'm PBU, sorry. though, I'm feeling pretty good because he clearly made an adjustment. Yeah. He's right. playing fine now. and then, So the I next agree. game is, is okay. I would he's go back he's to behind stadium. in counterpicks. Like, that's bad. 
but the, the adjustment was clearly made as far as like yeah. where he needs to space himself. Yeah. I, I, th I think, okay, either you go to Stadium or you go to Yoshi's. Yoshi's because of what McCain said earlier. Or Stadium because you know what, you were playing better. He, exactly. he definitely did start to okay, figure it out Okay, here's the there. thing, though. Yeah. I do think he figured it out, but he kind of had the same problem as far as like killing. Yeah, could, that's true. He can rack, but... I don't think that I don't think it's a problem you can fix. <laughs> well, that's just I the mean, matchup, I know, right? but it's that's like... It, but but, that, but he, that's why he's losing. But yeah. he'll go back. You know what I'm saying? But he might be able to yeah. play from a lead this time. Yeah, that's which would true. Be, it would have changed the dynamic. Yeah. So we'll see. And there's definitely, obviously, some some good things going for PPU after that. Yeah, he's, he's not giving up the stage nearly as quickly. Oh, nice though. Oh. I like the down tilt approaches, Ooh. man. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I would love to see if you replace some of those uh, neutral airs with uh, rising forward airs. Yeah. Retreating rising that's forward the airs. That's the, <laughs> that's <laughs> the kin right there, dude. Like, you see those back airs? Those back airs get down demolished tilt, by, yeah. by, by uh, forward go. air. The down tilts are going like, to be that, Yeah, there you go. That yeah. forward air will destroy that back air yeah. every time. I think he's figuring that the, out. The yeah. down tilts play him in position for, to hit good aerials. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Nice. PP's really figuring oh, this out. Oh, yeah. that. Oh. Down tilt. And Armada's kind of wants, yeah. wants to keep the pressure on yeah. him. Yeah, I like that. I like what Armada's doing right so now. So it's one of those awkward, like, he needs a turn up, but he's trying to keep pressure on PPU at the same time. It was great corner pressure by Armada. Ooh, nice. Avoid that turn up. Nice. Didn't even wait. Dude, he puts the turn ups in, like, the hardest place. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Most people get like not a wall of turn ups yeah. at all times. Oh! Okay. He <laughs> caught it. That was actually bad to catch it though, because could he? He couldn't back air. I think he did a back throw. I actually, yeah. I think what happened was he tried to back air and it caught the turn up. <laughs> it caught the turn up because he might have been holding the tech button and pushed. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Oh, no such that's, face. Okay. That's my guess as to what happened. Cause now I think. Oh god. Honestly, oh, so just because the first time we saw PPU you catch a turn up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think now it's. Bad, oh, right? oh, oh, that's good. That's good. We'll take. He'll it. take that. Yeah. <laughs> he will take wow. that. Because that's an actually an early kill on Armada, all things considered, and he. He did take 30% to get a kill, but... Yeah, whatever. At those he would have taken more. He, yeah, he might have taken more. I almost guarantee you he would have taken more. Yeah. yeah, I think now it's, it's hard because the, the strategy of not keep, keeping him away is really good when you're in the lead. But when you're not, Ooh. it's hard. But... Oh, oh are you yeah. Wow. You got to narrow that thing again. <laughs> no, because now Armada won't die. die. Armada right. won't die. Yeah. He will... Oh wow! He somehow. Near Ooh. Oh, don't get hit by this. He How are you not supposed to? Yeah, I know, for real. Well, oh. go in. That's how. No. Oh. Yeah. He it was rough. That's, That's rough. There's a person. And it didn't hit Armada. Like you would think it would hit Armada. <laughs> not, not the well, not off those four years the way they were going. And the bomb was at the backside of Armada. Armada was like so. Armada's flying forward. The bomb's kind of straight below him. It's not really gonna work out. Yeah. We learned that these things actually have a percentage chance drop based on the how strong your move is, I see. what we've learned recently. Um, I think stitches and bombs and other items might have a higher percent, or certain items might have a higher oh. percent drop chance just because of what they are. Because you see bombs drop a lot more often than you do regular drops. Yeah. And you see oh, stitches drop no. a lot more That's why bombs are the scariest. Drops. Some pieces just throw them away. Oh, nice. nice. That's finally threw one out. Yeah. Like finally threw one out <laughs> yeah. connected. Yeah, I know, right? He has a, he hardly been force smashing at all. Oh. oh. Definitely one in the down tilt there. Yeah. See, wave dash down. Whoa. So shield yeah. the turtle, wave dash down, then get the get okay. the pressure going. No, wow. he got greedy with that. Yeah, uh, he tried. He this tried. is be tough. This is a tough mountain to climb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as tough as it gets. Yo, Armada makes it look. <laughs> yeah, you got the best <laughs> so player in the world hard. on one side. You know, He's got it, three stocks. It's still a Marth matchup, but it definitely looks like Peach just clearly wins the way he plays it. Oh, he's, oh, oh, this guy's it. Yeah. This combo, this combo we need to see people you get. Yeah. Not Armada at this yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. So, I think. I've been trying, but yeah. this, the turn ups, the, the pressure. Armada's got the whole game. You know, it's like he's got the whole game plan. Yeah. Kevin feels like he's got half of it. Yeah. He does. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That was. You, you definitely saw some great things by PPU, though. Yeah. He had like, great stocks and couldn't put together a great game. Yeah. Um, his edge guarding though definitely. Yeah. Watch your Mewtwo King. Watch your PP. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't I mean, back here. He wasn't I, I back here. I do think Kevin did played pretty well for the most part. Mm. But I mean, he could have. You know, it just seemed like he couldn't really get anything going. Yeah. And he still wasn't yeah. as confident or good against turnups. As yeah. He yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I guess his two. Yeah. The two biggest improvements he could make would probably be the turnup and the, the edge guarding though was so. Because with Peach, if she gets hit like ten times off the stage. Yeah. And you're hitting her two maybe if he like he actually hit her like. Like once or twice as edge guards, like he almost never got an actual so, edge guard. So well, I think the the main difference that he would have helped him is that you saw that when Peach was coming towards him from the edge guarding position, he was almost always facing her. 
Um, which was yeah. a threat with a forward air. And forward air just, is, it's okay for it, but it's not nearly as good as that big arc of back air. And then what happens is you fast forward and you do a landing forward air, and that covers so much space. And then if they, they magically dodge that back air, and they go all the way above you, you still got them where you want. They're above you in the center stage, yeah. running at a float at time, and you go back towards the center and you cover that. Mm -hmm. And if they go towards the edge, then you, you hit know, that you hit them, Down tilt or you know what? If now yeah, they're on the edge. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or worst case scenario, they're on the edge. Yeah. Right. Which is great for Marth. Yeah. So. Yeah, I just I think he needed a little bit more in his bag. Like you said, Armada had the yeah. whole package. Yeah. He had everything covered. And I mean, just from personal experience of playing him versus like Mewtwo King, like Mewtwo King's Marth. When I'm trying to come back to the stage, I get swatted and swatted and times. swatted. Yeah, Mewtwo he, King's fine with hitting you. He, I didn't. F I didn't feel like I was ever threatened to get swatted. Like yeah. once maybe. Yeah. Once per game off the stage. He respects it way too much. He, I, I don't think he realized how much power he has there. Yeah. In that yeah. kind of position. I think. Yeah. But I think he was waiting a little. Too much for um, Armada to make a mistake and not necessarily forcing him enough to uh, enough air. And, and also, as Armada, like let's say you have Armada in a juggle. Like first of all, he didn't get that many kind of situations where Armada was above him and he was controlling yeah, that yeah, space. Yeah. He needs he needs to get better at that. Um, the mix-up is: Do you go for the hit, or do you punish them when they actually t put their feet on the ground? Uh -huh. Right. And when Armada put his feet on the ground, he would just like stay there and watch him. Right. Yeah. And instead of being like, you know what, I'm just gonna down tilt you. Yeah. Because you do that down tilt. What's the like? He's just yeah, gonna he started doing a little bit towards the end, but it yeah. was kind of too late. You gotta stop that movement like yeah. right in his tracks. Yeah. It definitely for. Um it's definitely something, a video he's going to have to break down and see where his mm -hmm. mistakes are. At the higher percents, I actually felt like the side Bs took away from his neutral game. Like, you saw how he was he ended up fishing for them. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you yeah, it was yeah. hard, man. Yeah, sucks, a little bit. Man. It's tough. A little bit. The, bomb the first good. bomb or the, the second hilarious. bomb? The second bomb. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, the side Bs, if you look at the high, later percents, it actually made, like, he was fishing for it so much that it made him not cover options. Yeah, yeah. You know, so there's a lot of things he can improve on. I think it's one of those things that if he actually goes and really watches it, he can learn about 300 things from it. Yeah, exactly. And since, and I think, I think that if, that I think that I like is that because the matchup's in his favor, there's a lot he can take from it and improve a lot next time. Yeah. You yeah. know? He's got a lot to implement. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so next. Oh, man. oh, we got Falco Gods. Uh-oh. Or Falco Mark Gods.